I would say it's a difference. So because it's not just the position, it's the position, the attitude, the heading, the information around how the position was derived and how likely it is in a certain safety parameter. So all that information that comes with the three coordinates, all that information around it is really where the intelligence is. It's a little bit the same with the position. Yes, the position matters and it's important and the accuracy is addictive, but the information around it and that three coordinates of the position, that's really what today, if you are in the control environment, that you need. how far we have come in the last 10 years. From, it, for example, a GNSS position or an optical derived position being something for special people with special education to being available to everyone. All of us, 10 years ago, if your car navigation system or if your phone got the, you in the right block on the street, you were happy. You were excited when it would tell you is it the left or the right side of the street. Now, if you don't get right in front of that door, you're kind of annoyed. We already got so used to it in the 10 years. So I think what we will have in the next 10 years is that positioning demand from a customer perspective and the accuracy demand will just be there. They will, everybody, accuracy is addictive. I always say that for the last 30 years in this industry. Everybody will want to be not just in front of the right door, they want to be in front of the right window in the shopping mall or at the store. They want to be at the right bay when they drop off their car for service. They, so that will drive a lot more development, but because everybody wants information and needs this positioning information, it will drive as well cost down. And then for certain applications, it's about driving power consumption down and things like that. And one part that's totally overlooked is the, actually the antenna. That's where your biggest physical restraints are, is making antennas small enough and affordable enough to actually enable this. We all know today you can buy cell phone chips with dual frequency in four constellations, and in theory you can get a very good position out of it. But today there is no antenna available that fits inside a cell phone that would actually allow you that kind of precision that the chip allows you. So for me as well, inertial antenna development, communication in position, that's what in the next 10 years will help and will, um, where we spend, will spend a lot of money on. And then um, we will see 10 years from now very, very, very affordable, high accurate positioning solutions.